Did 21 year old Brent Brown Jr. for his role in a deadly shooting that happened last June in Grand Rapids. Brown was found guilty of attempted murder and multiple gun violations for the June 4th shooting. It happened on Temple Street west of Kalamazoo Avenue Southeast. 21 year old Javon Holloway was killed in the shooting. The prosecution said Brown did not fire the deadly shot, but was responsible for starting the exchange of gunfire that led to Holloway's death. Brown faces up to life in prison when he returns to court for sentencing in April. Guns played a role in all but three of the city's homicides last year. Contributing to the cycle of violence, police say are stolen guns that end up in the hands of criminals. Herbie Brewer is part of that cycle. He was sent to prison for several gun store break-ins that happened in 2017. So why was he back in a Grand Rapids courtroom this week on cases that were already resolved? 13 on your side's John Hogan explains. The Michigan Court of Appeals sent the cases involving Herbie Brewer back here for resentencing. Now, Judge Mark Trusak said the nature of the crimes and the impact on the community warranted a harsh sentence. This was a extremely heinous situation. What you have done and what you distributed has had a serious impact on this community. Herbie Brewer was just 16 years old when he participated in gun store break-ins around Kent County back in 2017. Targeted businesses were Barracks 616, Bat Shelter Master Gunmaker, Cabela's, and Riley's Ace Hardware. We do not want to establish in Kent County that anybody who wants can go get sledgehammers break into places and steal guns. Trusak in May of 2018 sentenced Brewer to between six and 10 years in prison. Now it was more than triple the minimum guideline range. The teen appealed saying it was too harsh. The Court of Appeals recently sent the case back and asked that Trusak better explain why he exceeded guidelines. And that he did. You uh, broke in and stole 28 firearms. 13 of those have been recovered. The other 15 guns, Trusak said, continue to menace society. He then rattled off a litany of reasons why he exceeded guidelines nearly two years ago and why he planned to do so yet again. He sold one of those firearms uh, for a tattoo in the future. There were two males that came from Muskegon to see you to buy a bag full of guns. Some of the stolen guns turned up in an alley along railroad tracks, and in a child's backpack. They've been linked to random gunfire around the city of Grand Rapids. And that is not covered in the sentencing guidelines. Trusak gave Brewer a slightly lesser term of between five and 10 years. Now, with credit for time served, he'll be eligible for release in a little more than two and a half years. Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker said while the new sentence also exceeded guidelines, it was proper under the circumstances. And to some extent, it is reactive. Um, but we need to send a message that this sort of uh, gun break-ins just has a ripple effect and causes more violence. Before he was resentenced, Brewer told the judge that he has changed while in prison. I've learned a lot. I learned from my mistakes and I take full responsibility for my actions. Trusak, he offered some advice. Sir, you don't change your ways. You're either going to be dead or you're going to spend the rest of your life in prison. Good luck to you. Brewer, who turns 19 years old in April, was sent back to a state prison in Gratiot County to continue serving out his term. In Grand Rapids, John Hogan, 13 on your side.